Welcome to Real World Solutions and Reviews. With gas prices at record levels, today I'm going to show you how to improve the mileage of your vehicle up to 25 miles to gallon. And really we're looking at one factor, and that is the speed you drive. In my recent review, I mentioned that I was getting 35 miles to the gallon, and someone uh, posted and said that I must be driving like a crazy person or there's something wrong with my truck. And to them, I want to say, you might be right. Actually, I don't think that's what it is. He was saying that he was getting 42, 44 miles per gallon, but he mentioned that he drove uh, on the interstate like I do, but he drove 60 to 65 miles an hour. I live in Texas, and if I drove 60 miles an hour on the interstate, I would get run over and killed uh, because the speed limit is 75 miles an hour, and everybody wants to do that and a little bit more. Honestly, uh, I might or might not drive 80 on a regular basis. So what I want to do today is an experiment to see what speed can I drive my hybrid Ford Maverick at and get the best gas mileage. So we're going to do it at 80 miles an hour, which might or might not be what I'd normally drive. And then we're going to do it at 70 and 60 and 50. And we're going to see how that affects. So what I'm doing right now is I'm sitting on the side of the road and I'm going to try to uh, let the vehicle sit here until the engine kicks in and charges the battery. And as soon as the engine kicks out, uh, then I'm going to begin the test where we'll have a, um, a, a equal starting spot in the charge of the battery for each of these trials. For our first test, we're going to try to go 80 miles an hour. We'll put it on cruise control to control the speed. So I'm going to crank it and we're going to see what kind of gas mileage we get. So we got 28.3 miles per gallon and went a total of 13.5 miles with 0.3 of those miles being electric. This time we're gonna to try to go at 70 miles an hour. So I'm a, I've let it run until it turns off and the battery is fully charged and we're gonna crank it up when there's a break in the traffic where I can take off. So, uh, driving 70 miles an hour changed our gas mileage to 36.2 miles per gallon, a huge improvement over going 80 miles an hour on average. So changing from going 80 miles an hour to 70 miles an hour on our course improved the gas mileage by eight miles per gallon. I'm curious how much dropping to 60 miles an hour will make a difference in driving. Going 60 miles an hour, my gas mileage improved to 45.9 miles per gallon. Uh, that's about a 10 mile uh, uh, per gallon over the 70, and it is uh, 18 miles per gallon better than the 80 miles an hour. So obviously, speed has a big effect on the miles per gallon. So now we're gonna try to set our cruise at 50 miles an hour. I'm curious, we got uh, 45.6 miles per gallon at 60 miles an hour. I'm really curious what the miles per gallon are gonna be at 50 miles an hour. And I actually have to slow down to set my cruise. So driving 50 miles an hour, we ended up with a uh, miles per gallon of 53.6 miles per gallon. 
So yes, it does get better gas mileage the slower you go. So what conclusions can we form about driving speed and miles per gallon? Well, driving 80 miles an hour, we got 28.3 miles per gallon uh, on our 13 and a half mile trek. Uh, driving 70, that improves 7.9 miles per gallon to 36.2 miles per gallon. Uh, to drop down to 60 miles a, an hour, uh, our miles per gallon improved to 45.9 miles to gallon. Uh, that's an improvement of 9.3 miles per gallon over 70 and 17.6 miles per gallon improvement over going 80 miles an hour. Now to go 50 miles an hour, we found that it improved the gas mileage to 53.6 miles per gallon. That's 7.7 .7 miles per gallon better than the 60 and 25.3 miles per gallon better than 80 miles an hour. Once again, let me repeat that. It's 25.3 miles per gallon uh, better than the 28.3 we got at 80. In other words, it was nearly double uh, the efficiency when we slowed down. Now, will I slow down and drive 50 miles an hour on my way to work? Absolutely not. I think it's unsafe to drive that speed on a regular basis. And I, I nearly stopped my experiment because I was concerned about it. Uh, but uh, instead of pushing and driving above the speed limit, uh, I believe I'm going to try to do my best to drive the speed limit. Now, in Texas, that's still 75 miles an hour on most interstates, and so that means that I will not be driving my most efficient. But I, I think it's sometimes rude, especially if you're in the left lane going slower than the speed limit. Uh, but uh, I, I think it can cause uh, danger when you get excessively below. Uh, while I want to improve my fuel efficiency, uh, I, I don't want to put others in danger. And I don't want to take that long driving. It's obvious that the faster you go in the hybrid Ford Maverick, the worse your miles per gallon. In fact, you know, when the city mileage is better than the highway mileage, you know that there's something affecting that. Now, I'd be really interested if somebody who had a Ford Maverick uh, that's not a hybrid, that's a 2.0, I would love for them to do this same experiment and see how uh, the speed affects the mileage for them. I think it would be very different. They have a 10-speed automatic where this has a CVT, and I'm curious because every vehicle is, is tuned to a different speed. I know our Camry that we used to have got its best gas mileage at 75 five miles an hour. Uh, I've had other vehicles. My my Dodge Ram that I used to have uh, got really good gas mileage once you got up to about 70 miles an hour. And so each vehicle is different. But on the hybrid Ford Maverick, it seems that slowing down really does improve your mileage. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of interesting videos coming down the channel. Thank you, and you have a blessed day.